I bet you didn't know about Mary Turner. I don't usually do this, but before I get into this, I'm gonna go ahead and provide a trigger warning because this one is particularly very unsettling. It is horrifically heartbreaking. May 19th, 1918. A mob of white men from Brooks County, Georgia lynched an African-American woman by the name of Mary Turner. She was eight months pregnant at the time. Her husband, Hayes Turner, was lynched just the day before. He was accused of being an accomplice in the murder of a notorious white farmer. But they lynched the wrong man. The next day, Mary was grieving and spoke out against her husband's death, promising to take legal action. The mob of white men were enraged by this. So they decided to make an example out of Mary Turner. Despite having no actual reason to fear legal repercussions, because at the time, African Americans were not afforded judicial process. The mob of white men lynched Mary Turner and her unborn child. What they did to her was horrific. The mob bound her by her feet, hanged her from a tree facing down, doused her in gasoline, and burned her clothes from her body. Mary Turner was still alive when the mob took a butcher knife to her abdomen, cutting her unborn child from her body. When the baby fell from Mary Turner, a member of the mob crushed the crying baby's head with his foot. The mob then riddled Mary Turner's body with hundreds of bullets, ending her life. This revealed a great deal about how African-American women were dehumanized with impunity. 594 racial terror lynchings between 1877 and 1950 were documented in the state of Georgia. And nobody in the mob was held accountable for the lynching of Mary Turner and her unborn baby.